Hermit crabs love their shells. The hermit crab is so named because, unlike other crustaceans, the hermit crab can't grow its own shell. So it has to find and adopt empty shells and make use of them as best as it can. It's a hermit crab because it lives transiently, going from shell to shell whenever it needs to. Now, there are benefits to a lifestyle like this, like being able to get a new shell as the hermit crab grows larger, but there are also some downsides. If the shell is detachable, then it can also be stolen. A stolen shell is disastrous for a hermit crab, because they spend a lot of energy shaping the shell to fit their body. The hermit crabs will secrete chemicals that erode the inner lining of the shell, so as to make it smooth and more comfortable to wear as well as being more spacious. Some of this space can make room for growing tissue, while other times the space is used to store eggs. If a hermit crab has its shell stolen or destroyed, that could be catastrophic, and if the hermit crab isn't in a place where it can readily find a new shell within a day, within a 24-hour period, then the hermit crab can die from dehydration. Its life is on the line here. A new study published in the journal Royal Society Open Science has identified a novel way in which hermit crabs protect their shells from being stolen. Hermit crabs have evolved larger penises so as to reduce the risk of shell theft. This is kind of strange, but the research examined why this evolutionary link exists. The researcher examined over 300 crab specimens measuring penis size and various traits about the shell, and he found that crabs with the most extensively modified shells, or those crabs who had invested the most energy and the most resources into their shells, had the largest penises in relation to body size. So, why the penis? Well, it's because when hermit crabs are trying to mate, when they're trying to reproduce, they have to scooch a little bit outside of their shells. And this can be dangerous. So during the act of mating, the crabs will tend to go and hide somewhere discreet to reduce the risk of predators catching them and thieves stealing their shells. The crabs will face each other, and they'll get very close. And then, they'll lean out. They'll reach out from their shells towards each other, as far as they can go without getting too far from the shell. The male will attempt to deposit his sperm on the female who in turn will place the sperm inside herself to fertilize her eggs. There's no penetration, and the penis is the extended limb that reaches out to deliver the sperm to the female. It appears that these hermit crabs have evolved larger penises so as to reach farther and fertilize the female easier without risking his shell. The male isn't stepping out of his shell. He's not even leaning that far out of it because his penis can reach across the gap to reach the female and deliver the sperm. This fascinating study was conducted by Mark Ladra, a biologist at Dartmouth College, who described the enlarged genitals as, quote, really a very sensible evolutionary solution to what is one of the most dangerous situations the crab can get involved in, unquote. It's pretty straightforward, too. The crabs that had the largest penises had the easiest time delivering their sperm to the female while exposing themselves to the lowest risk of having their shells stolen. So all of these evolutionary pressures are pointing in the right direction to encourage the evolutionary development of larger penises. Now, I can't talk about a study like this without mentioning similar evolutionary quirks about human genitalia. Humans have disproportionately large penises compared to other great apes, which is believed to be an evolutionary trend caused by intraspecies selective pressures, more specifically, female choice. Furthermore, humans have relatively large testicles, because we evolved in a polyamorous social context, where sperm competition was the main driver of sexual competition. Selective pressures in this context would select for males who can produce greater quantities of sperm, so as to be able to wash out the competitor's sperm, and increase the chances of impregnation. 
I think it's super fascinating how sexual and natural selection can influence the shape and the structure of genitalia. And this seems to hold true across the animal kingdom, from humans to hermit crabs. Thank you.